to our brother. Your money is not your money. Your money is our money. His money is una money. Her money is una, your money is una money. Your money is not your money. So before you jack up with your spouse, before you jack up with your husband, I feel this is a, one of the major conversation you need to have as a couple. And as you are doing it, in fact, you should be sincere about it, not the one that you go and you start. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Vicky Space here on YouTube. So, yeah, we are here again. It's yet another sit down video and today i am here to talk about relocation yeah jackpa is a jacka is a jackpa season so i'm here to talk about relocation fact about relocating from nigeria to abroad to europe to uk to wherever you want to go as a couple yeah so first of all before we go into this video properly i want to say a very big thank you to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always watching my video and to the unique subscribers please please don't just watch my video click on the subscribe uh, button down below and subscribe to my youtube channel please i am begging you guys click and subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel i need subscribers yeah our views are growing but my subscribers are not growing so please i'm begging you guys please and please subscribe to my youtube channel yeah so before we go right into this video i want to say very big congratulations to everybody that have jacked back from this nigeria yeah because as we all know one of the biggest achievements now this moment this period as a nigerian is to leave this country because eh, with the way the nigerian economy is going down 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 as of today i had dollar is now eight um eight sixty one dollar eight sixty that's eight hundred and sixty naira so where are we going to even importers are not finding it funny imagine you bring goods to nigeria and you sell very well because things are expensive in nigeria now you sell very well when you change your money because they buy in euros or in dollar when you change your money you see that that plenty dollar that plenty naira has increased so it's not really really funny with importers so one of the best thing now is to jack back. but before you jack back with your husband yeah uh, this video is strictly for women for ladies before you jack back with your husband there's one thing you need to know as a nigerian so as you guys know in nigeria as an african woman we feel the husband is the head and the husband is the major provider yes as a woman if you actually want to provide probably you ju can just do it at your will nobody asks you to do it you can just okay if your husband gives you hundred thousand naira for um the housekeeping as the allowance a month you can just add maybe like ten ten thousand or twenty thousand to get it to the amount of what you want to buy for the month but you know that that your 10 10,000 is nothing compared to his 100 the 100,000 naira he brought and it's not even compulsory you can just use the 100,000 to buy whatever you want to buy and manage yourself but fat when you jackpot is not like that when you relocate there's one thing you need to know is number 1 you are you ready to share bills with your husband because abroad they share bills yeah when you jack up with your husband abroad, the share bill, it is, it is, it is, um, it is no longer his major responsibility. It is your two, our two responsibility. As a wife, you bring your share. As a husband, he brings his share. That's why you see that most people, when they jack up, when they jack up together, you see that before you know, trouble here and there, and they are signing the divorce paper so there is this major question you need to ask yourself are you ready to split b as you are clamoring to jackpot with him with your boo boo are you ready to spill the b to split the bill are you ready to help in the house are you ready to bring your 50 and his 50 to add together that is one thing you really need to ask yourself i am saying this because of a story i read on insta blog the boy the boy he got admission in uk 
for his masters and he had a girlfriend he has a girlfriend in nigeria so he said he does not want to leave the girl so he used his school fee the money his family contributed for him he used it to pay the girl's diary and and look for visa for the girl to go with him as dependent yes as his wife so when they went before before going there they had an agreement and the agreement was that since he's going there to school the girl, the girl is going to work yeah the girl is going to work and probably she will, she's going to be the major source of their income because he has already sacrificed all his all for for her and um he's going to be schooling why she do why she why she do the providing and all that which she gladly accepted yeah she gladly agreed on see when they reach uk I think after the first month, the second month, she started acting up. She started sending her money back to Nigeria instead of giving it to her husband or instead of using it for the house. She started sending money back to Nigeria, and the guy is the guy is not fine. Sorry, they don't again me say the guy. <laughs> the guy is not finding it funny. Yeah, uh, the guy is not finding it funny. So he had to cry out to his friends that. He wants to divorce like he can't even he can't even take it anymore that see this girl the girl is not even contributing in fact the girl says she cannot contribute which was not even the initial plan so am i trying to say before you before you start something before you do something just think about the advantage and the disadvantages yeah because in africa we feel that the man is the major provider and for that even if he did die, you know, consign you, you know, consign us, he must provide. So, but over there is not like that. If he's paying bills, you need to provide everything for the house. But you need to provide the food and all that. If he's paying um, the rent, the utility bill, uh, internet and all that, you as a woman, you provide food because there is equality. Except maybe he still um he still has some African blood and he decides to like okay my wife just sit down and enjoy your money. When you go to abroad, your money is not your money. Your money is our money. His money is una money. Her money is una. Your money is una money. Your money is not your money. So before you jack up with your spouse, before you jack up with your husband, I feel this is a, one of the major conversation you need to have as a couple. And as you are doing it, in fact, you should be sincere about it. Not the one that you go and you start, you start bringing another story. Yeah, like a very big YouTuber. I think one of my favorite YouTuber here on this street, on this crazy street of YouTube. I watched one of her videos that she said, um, whenever her husband asks her to use her money to do things, she gets upset because she feels her money is her money. Like she's not used to, she's not used to sharing her money or she's not used to using her money she feels he's the man so he should provide and she is his responsibility yeah that is a nigerian woman a typical nigerian woman speaking a typical african woman speaking but when you jack or when you go abroad it is no longer so so i feel with this kind of her mentality if she take it abroad it's going to be a problem the man might be paying no but it will get to a point that it will choke him because bills there is usually so 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 expensive yeah so i want to leave you guys with this question me i am also clamoring to japa and uh, my dear like i said it's one of the greatest achievements right now when you japa hallelujah for you so before you japa before you as you are clamoring to japa before you japa sit down and have this conversation as an african woman as a nigerian lady that loves spending her man's money are you ready to spill bill am i ready to split bill to spill the to, to split to split the bill like are we ready so this i think this is a very good question to ask yourself this is one of the questions people neglect a lot but it is very very essential to ask yourself before you start signing that document that you want to jack back except you have um another motive like okay, when you jack by any small thing you divorce but when you divorce what about your kids so if you watch this video to this very point and if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe please and to those of you that just see my video and think i should just share this person out my dear thank you very much thank you very much i love you guys and um
my dear i hate you guys a lot so please as you're watching this video subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment yeah thank you very much god bless you for watching this video to this very point yeah bye, -bye.